need to move to another country. Sunshine on me. Never, ever, ever do that. Oh my God. I feel like I have been punked. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Aaliyah Ariel if you are new here and I make videos about lifestyle, beauty, travel, and fashion content. So if that's something that you like, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Happy Friday y'all, today is April 12th and we are about to go on our second workout of the day. Um, if you did not watch the last vlog, then you need to go back and watch it, okay? There was a lot going on in my life throughout the week. <laughs> So this is gonna be a weekend vlog. Um, today we started our day by working out. We did like a short core circuit and then we went to work. I did not have enough time to do cardio. And then I also do four workouts a week. So I did a core circuit this morning for workout number two. And then we are on the way to do workout number three, which is a two mile walk. So we ain't got that much time to spare, okay? It is almost seven o'clock, so we need to go ahead and get out there. I think it started getting dark at 7.40. It normally takes me about 35 minutes, almost 40 minutes to do two miles. So, I ain't got much time to waste. Let's get into the walk. All right, y'all, we are almost to the park. Poor minds, poor minds released the episode today, so that is what's gonna be in my ears. Either poor minds or Kayla J. I was watching Kayla J's vlog. Girl, look at this sunshine on me. Sunshine on me. Sunshine on me. Eh. <laughs> but anyway, I was watching Kayla J's vlog before I took a nap. I gotta tell y'all about work. I have to tell y'all. Nothing really happened for real. I just went to work and had to do work. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing like having to work while you at work. Most people don't be doing nothing when they at work. But baby, when I go to work, I got to work. Okay, but yeah, we pulling up to the park. I think I'm gonna lean more so towards the podcast because I really don't have to be watching it as I listen. And the park packed. I'd be surprised every time I come to the park and it's packed. For what I don't know, girl. Are people dressed up? What they doing? Um. Oh shit! I thought there was a park. I'm gonna have to park down here in the boondocks, bro. But it's cool. It's cooler than cool, actually. I need to go to the grocery store and pick up some more gum. Because I also like to chew my gum as I walk. So I don't have to carry my water bottle. I'm about to put y'all in this glove department. Take a little protection in my gym bag. And that's gonna be that. Y'all, I have a new personal record. Woo! We are almost at 2.3 miles in 43 minutes. So now we're gonna start to cool down. We came, we saw, we conquered. I feel so proud. Normally it takes me like a little bit over 20 minutes, between 20 minutes and 21 minutes to do one mile. And of course that can in increase to like 22, 24 minutes if I'm taking my time. But today, because I wanted to make sure I got back in the car before sunset, I was like, we gotta put the pedal to the metal. And it feels good. It feels good. I, my split was 19 minutes per mile, which is amazing for me because I can think back to when I was doing like my jogging and walking intervals and I am planning on building myself back up to that. I would do um, one mile in like 15 minutes with me jogging for one minute and walking for one minute. Of course, during those walks, baby, I was taking my precious little time. Okay? In my ears at the park, I told y'all I was listening to Poor Minds. I got through 40 minutes of an episode, 42 minutes of an episode. This is an episode with Van Lathan, and it's a freaking two hour episode, y'all. So. I don't know. I'm going to Pilates in the morning. High key. I gotta see. I don't think there's no parks near where uh, Pilates is at. But if I try to eat like 
some type of toast or eggs or something before Pilates, like an omelet, I can go to Pilates, then um, go to a park and walk and finish the episode. It just depends. It really depends. It really depends, right? <clears throat> before doing the two miles, I was at about 4,000 steps for today. Let's see where we left off. There are 9,973 steps. Almost at my 10K goal, babes. So by the time I finish walking Rocco, we will for sure be at 10,000 steps. All right, here is the salad and the grilled chicken. Hey y'all, good morning. I am on the way to Duncan. First of all, happy Saturday. Today's April 13th. There's one notch on this battery, so there's not gonna be much talking for me, okay? We have Pilates in about an hour and a half. And I need to get some coffee and a light breakfast before I go. Um, so that's what we're about to do. I am also over here by a Target, so I need to get some yoga socks with the little grips on the bottom. I had some. I have no clue where they are. Keisha also has a two pair, and she offered one pair to me. But I was thinking to myself, it's just best that I get my own pair again for the second time. My first pair came from Five Below, and I got them when I, I think I was still living in Jackson. And um, while I'm out getting this coffee, baby, I need to be taking an allergy pill because this congestion is not cute. But yeah, I just want to check in for today. I'm about to plug up my camera and I will see y'all in the next clip. All right, y'all, we are in Target. This thing says socks on C48. There are no socks over here. Y'all, that Target didn't have none. <clears throat> he said that uh, they probably didn't audit it correctly because it says they have one on the floor. But I didn't see it, so. Let's see how long it will take me to get. It'll take me 11 minutes to get to the next target, which will bring me at 11.11. I wanna be at Pilates at 12. I saw a cute red um, workout set in there that I could wear to Pilates, but I don't know. What should I do? I'm already in a car. I could find something to wear at home. Alright y'all, we are dressed and on the way. It looks dark in my car. We are dressed and on the way to Pilates. Right now we will be arriving five minutes before class begins. So I'm not late but not early either. You know, just right on time. My homegirl is already there. So I'm going to tell her to go ahead and go inside and get her reformer and check in if she needs to. I don't want her to be running late because of me. But yeah, this is, we're going to Club Pilates. I've never been to Club Pilates before. Um, I typically prefer like black on studios because I like to hear our type of music. But I'm excited to see like what Club Pilates has to offer. So, yeah. I don't know if this is going to make me a Pilates hottie though. Because I do like lifting weights and stuff. I really do. But there's nothing wrong with um, using Pilates for like upper body. Yeah, y'all, I just want to check back in with y'all. Baby, why is you walking across this traffic in the light green? These folks need to go to Jeff and jaywalking, okay? Cause they don't pay attention to these signs. And then, let me not, let me not, let me not. Anyway, we are headed to Pilates, y'all. I wanted to talk to y'all about um, some two things. Because I'm watching Gina's vlog. And she got left in Costa Rica. So I wanted to talk about buddy passes. I wanted to talk about, what is it called? Flying standby solo trip. So I'm going to talk about that in one little segment. And then the second topic is going to be about friendship. Because she also talked about friendship in that vlog, too. She made some really good points. You can't travel with everybody. Everybody can't always go. But we're gonna talk about that in just a minute. Let me focus on driving and getting to where I need to go. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Oh my gosh, y'all. I am being a horrible vlogger today. 
because I normally I love to take y'all inside of places with me but girl when I tell y'all as soon as I walked into Pilates she's like no phones or cameras in the back I have my camera out but I guess it's just like what they say to everybody no phones or cameras in the back really the only thing they allowed us to take back was our water and then um we just started class. I made it in there at exactly 12.10. And um, class started at exactly 12.15. Now the intro to Pilates or the beginner class at Club Pilates is a lot different than a Studio Duo, which is where I went to in the past. And then um, and the, the difference is the Club Pilates class is 30 minutes. And the one that I did in the past, which was like exactly one year ago, it was a full 50 minute class. I did enjoy the um, Club Pilates one. They didn't, she didn't use the little foam board or we didn't use anything except for the reformer today, which we still had a good class. It's been so long since I have done Pilates, y'all. And let me just say this. I told my girl, Keisha, I was like, girl, Pilates always, I've only did two classes, but Pilates make me feel weak. Like when I be in the gym and I'm doing my bench presses, shoulder presses, squats, glute bridges and stuff, I can do it with my own body weight and some dumbbells. So baby, when you bring in the reformer and resistance, it's a whole different beast. It makes a, it makes a B out of me, baby. It makes a B word out your girl. So I don't know. We're going to try a couple more studios and um we might commit to doing like class pass and meeting up once a week doing our pilates but now i am at the park we're about to get in a, um at least one mile today um it's hot today y'all i ain't even gonna hold you it's really really hot today but i'm here and i'm gonna get some stuff i'm gonna get some more steps in but yeah hopefully the ac is not blowing into the um camera but yeah i'm just cool Woo, child is close i'm just cooling off for a bit before i get out because it's hot today the last couple of times i've been doing my walks it has been no more than 75 degrees maybe 78 but girl, today is 85 degrees and it's hot. I got on black long sleeves. It's hot. But yeah, even though you don't burn a lot of calories in Pilates, you feel it. You feel it. It's truly a resistance building workout. So I'm about to do like everybody else. Put my shades on. Make a knot with my hair. Oh, I got a nut. Let's see if I can make it tighter. Oh, I was supposed to be talking to y'all about the Gina stuff. Hold on. Let me get myself together so we can have a quick chat before I get out the car. I don't know why he looking at me. He looking up my car. But I wanted to talk to y'all about the Gina situation. So, first let's talk about uh, Flying Buddy. Buddy Pads and Flying Standby. Never, ever, ever do that out of the country. I hardly even recommend doing it in the United States. Like, only fly buddy pads or standby if you're okay with being waitlisted over and over and over again. Like, a working girl could never do it unless you work remote because you cannot, people can always make it to their flight. You never know if somebody's gonna miss their flight you never know if, if, if the flight is gonna be full so i never recommend it it's good for last minute situations and you know you're gonna be at a certain spot or in a certain location for a certain amount of days and if you don't have to be at work the next day and things like it's good in those types of situations but flying internationally i probably would never play with fire like that so if y'all fly buddy if y'all have buddy pass and if y'all fly standby just be careful and be cautious when using them like who wouldn't want to fly free i don't think standby is free i'm not really sure but i just know that it's not an option for me um but i get why people do it if i ever was to do it i probably wouldn't be stressed because i'm the type of person who make the best out of situations and baby i would have been outside in costa rica okay in the residential neighborhoods i would have got on viator found me a local tour guide and been exploring but um 
Yeah, I probably would have been exploring. And Gina was, she was kind of shaking up because she was ready to go home. She's taken solo trips before, so. I don't know, that just goes to show you that when you're ready to leave somewhere, it ain't nothing nobody can do to make you feel comfortable. She couldn't even calm herself down. She was just that ready to go. And um, I guess she was a little bit nervous to be in another country by herself. But she's been on a solo trip before. But I just know me. Like, I'm the type of girl, I, I love being solo. Like, I have my friends. I love hanging out with my friends and stuff, too. But I, me and myself and I, baby, we get down. Okay? We don't play. <laughs> and I would have been having the time of my life in Costa Rica. Another thing she talked about was friendship. So, if y'all don't watch Gina and her friends, I don't watch everybody, but I do watch most of them. But Lily, yours truly, Gina, J. Kareen, Portia, and some other girls, they normally vacation together. And so the viewers notice that they vacation together a lot. So when they go on vacations and one person is missing, they always think that they're into it. Now, sometimes that might be the case, but for the most part, y'all, people can't go on every single trip with you. Like Gina was saying, some people work nine to five some people are entrepreneurs some people are in the army and they have freedom to travel but most people don't um but that just goes to show like viewers can watch a 20 minute to one hour vlog and make up whatever they want to make up when in reality we're not even vlogging our entire day it's actually kind of scary and it can be annoying like I do eventually want to become a big vlogger or a big YouTuber, period. Like having 100,000 subbies, 200,000 subbies. But I don't know if I'm quite ready for that yet because people do watch your channel and they start to speculate. I don't know. It's just, it puts things into perspective. Like as a viewer, I try not to judge people off of their one hour vlog i'm not a judgmental person anyway and then as a vlogger i hope y'all are not like speculating all right y'all we coming live from the editor's room i'm cutting out a lot of this clip because i got off topic as i always do so let's go back to talking about the friendship and traveling and all of that every friend can't go everywhere with you i feel like that opens up the conversation of friendship and all friends not being able to go everywhere with you you can't put your life on hold if you want to go to Jamaica and your friend got to work. She didn't, she didn't use all her PTO days. So you're going to go by yourself or you're going to go with other travel friends. So that's why I like having different groups of friends because I know and I understand that all of my friends can't do everything that I want to do. And I can't always do everything that they want to do because we have different interests, different schedules. Some of them have kids. Some of them don't have kids, so yeah. This is why I like having different friend groups. But that's enough. The camera's overheating. Myron on mute. He probably gonna start hollering and screaming in a minute. <laughs> Aaliyah, Aaliyah. But anyway, y'all, I will catch y'all back in the next clip. We are about to go and walk for at least 20 to 30 minutes. I'm so tired, y'all. We might be at three miles today or at least 2.6 or something like that we hit the three baby three miles yeah back in the car y'all we're ordering from sweet greens i'm getting a hot honey chicken bowl $13.95 and i think i'm gonna add an olipop Oh wait, I think I got all the pop still at home. I'm still sweating. I'm still cooling down, but y'all saw we just did the sweet green order. So we about to go to sweet greens, potty, pick up some food, and then go home. I gotta throw away the food today in the freezer. So before I shower, that is what we're gonna do. Um, I feel so good, y'all. I have said this countless amount of times, but I really love spring and being outside in the spring. Like, it is just so rewarding. Okay, where can I do a U-turn at? I 
Alright. I just finished uploading on my story. And I went inside, got my food. That could have put it in a bag or something, honey. Okay. This looks oh, excuse me, this looks good. Alright, let me show y'all a closer view. So we got chicken, hot honey mustard, quinoa, sweet potatoes, and lemon. I'm not gonna eat this right now. We about to go home and get this house in order, baby. I'm honestly not even hungry right now. So, I better take full advantage of that. Drink some more water. Head to the crib. And get this fridge and stuff cleaned out before I get a hunger headache. Alright, y'all. Let's do a little taste test or whatever. They ain't give me no um, fork, so I need to go get one. I got two servings of hot honey mustard. Hopefully it ain't too hot. Let me taste the quinoa first. It's supposed to be seasoned. Quinoa. I'm glad I put that top down. Mmm. Tastes like quinoa, not rice. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Why did my grandma feed me carbs as a baby. Like, the girl literally made potatoes for breakfast, lunch, dinner. I'm talking baked potatoes and steak for dinner, homemade fries and a sandwich for lunch, for breakfast. We had homemade pancakes. That ain't no potato, but it was still bread. And because of that, I am a bread girl through and through. I love bread. I love carbs, period. So it'd be real hard for me to limit the carbs, do like low carb. So this quinoa is not giving rice and I don't like that. Y'all, that's good. Mmm. That hot honey mustard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all, it's so good. It got a little kick to it. Now let's try with the sweet potato. Man. This gonna have to be a staple for me, girl. This is too good. Mm. I ain't gonna hold you, baby. I'm gonna swallow that down. So we have three bags. All this stuff came out of the freezer and the fridge. So yeah. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. All right, y'all. We got it empty and clean. I did leave some condiments and stuff up here. But we're starting fresh. We're starting fresh. I got some more condiments on the counter and energy drinks that we about to put back inside now. And I know your taste is a little bit mm, high maintenance. Mm, everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems. Hi, right, y'all. It's several hours later. Four hours later to be exact. I have cleaned the uh, fridge, cleaned the kitchen, swept and mopped. I am doing laundry right now. I'm just sitting down to eat my food. And girl, I was not expecting to like it this much. It is so freaking good. Well, y'all know I really don't like chicken for real. I feel like these are chicken thighs. And girl, they big. 
I just wish they would have cut them up a little bit for me. And I ain't bring no knife over here, so I'm going to have to bite it. Once I'm done eating, I'm going to go cut some hair out, cut some of these braids out. Especially at the middle and the back. And we're going to sit here, watch BMF, until I get tired of taking my hair down. So, yeah. Hey, y'all. Several hours later. Y'all, when I tell y'all, over the past 30 minutes, I have been sitting here boohoo crying. I have not taken one braid down. I literally just came out the bathroom from cutting them. I just cut 20 braids, okay? We're going to see how many, how much time it takes me to take down 20 braids. But girl, TikTok got me in a chokehold. I'm on Mackenzie Thomas's page. Somehow... Some song she did popped up on my For You page. And I've just been going down her page crying for the past 30 minutes. Like, boo-hoo crying. I love music so bad, y'all. Listen, I am an emotional person as it is. But when I tell y'all a high note, a riff, a run, a beat, instrumental, will bring the waterworks out of me, I kid you not. I've been crying. I want y'all to hear this. tell y'all I got chills right now I love music and singers have to be one of God's favorites because to use your vocal cords to spit out this beautiful tune I just I wish I could sing really me. Uh, I devoted so much time to find you a faithful boy I nearly lost my mind Drive past your house every night and run my car. <laughs> Wondering what she had on me to make, make you break my heart. You make me feel so gone, so unreal. Oh, you make, you make. Do you see what I'm talking about? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? do you i don't think you do like girl the chills are unreal but you know what i gotta focus i gotta focus i gotta get off tiktok i really do maybe we can find one more chills If y'all have not heard or seen Mackenzie and you like music, you like singing, you like covers, definitely go check her out on TikTok. Her page is It's Mackenzie T. The girl can blow. Okay? But we're about to go ahead and start taking out these 20 braids. It is 10 11. And since we're recording right now, we're gonna start taking them down at 10 13. Good morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. We're up, it's early. I have three major things on my to do list today. Actually, four. I have to finish taking my hair down. We took down 25 braids yesterday. It took me forever. It took me forever. It's because I was moving slow. I was scrolling TikTok. 
and take me down scrolling watching youtube just doing too much at one time so that's number one we have to finish we have to finish taking our hair down i need to finish my laundry number one thing that i need to wash right now is my um workout sweat belt it's time to wash it um number three oh my god it's five things three number three i need to go pick up my groceries at three o'clock i don't have much to cook today the only thing that i'm cooking is my omelets for the week and tacos for lunch um four and five so number four is going to be trying to find out how to extend my taxes how to um trying to figure out if how to file an extension for my taxes and if i can do so um if i can't i'm gonna have to try to file my taxes today and then the fifth thing on my to-do list that also has to get done today is i need to write two reports <clears throat> Even if I can get the hard parts over and wake up early, early, early Monday morning to get them submitted, I can work with it. So, sounds like a lot, but if I use my Pomodoro technique and block out my day, like give myself two hours or three to finish shaking down my hair. Oh, girl, I got to do my hair, babe. There's six type things. How we gonna get it done? I don't know, but we're gonna block out our day. Hopefully, we can block out two hours to take down the rest of the hair. It's honestly not that much. I left it like this so that I could be able to go out and run to the store. I'm about to go get a breakfast sandwich. Um, but yeah, this should take me about two or three hours to do my natural hair. Is one hour. Figuring out how to file my taxes, one hour. So that's five hours. Uh, what else I said I had to do? This is like a full day, a full Sunday. Go to the grocery store. It's like 30 minutes. Cook the food. That might take me an hour, hour and a half. So we're going to add six for that. And then um, I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, write those reports. Could take two hours. Eight hour day. We have an eight hour day. I ain't even mentioned church. So I'm not going to, uh, I'm probably not going to be fully immersed in church today, which means I'm not going to be able to take notes, which is cool. <clears throat> That's fine. As long as I can get a positive word for the week. Right now we are listening to Poor Minds and we need to go ahead and get started because I don't need to take no breaks today. That way I could be in the bed at a decent time to be at the gym at least at 6 o'clock. Yeah. Anyway, y'all, let's go get this breakfast sandwich so we can be back at home in the next couple of minutes. Rocco is outside enjoying this cool weather. Let's get it. Hop off a 16 passenger. This a G5. No, this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some members with me in the fridge. The coat seats. They some cannibals. Eat us. They like the geek geek. Drink a whole bottle. Wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look. Mixed it with the chill out. Now she say she saying 3D. Wow. I go in the jungle and they got a coat. I bet I come out with a meme. I bet I Yeah, it's 212. So it's been a little bit over two hours. And we got the whole front taken down. Oh my gosh, now that leaves the back of my hair. I don't even know if y'all can see. Let me go this way because you might see it better this way. My grocery pickup time is from 2.30 to 3. But the way it's looking, I'm not leaving here until 3. Um, still giving myself seven, seven and a half hours to get everything done on my to-do to list. It's not going to take me long to pick up groceries. Probably 30 minutes tops. But the back of this hair probably take another hour. You big body, ugly shape, alien mother sucker. Go ahead, little booty. <laughs> Y'all, I am freaking killing myself laughing. I was talking about the Tesla. It kept going forward, reversing, going forward, reversing. And I was trying to park beside it, and it just did not know what to do. Girl, it made me so mad. 
fam. Cause this shit bigger than me. Big. Color stones in my infinity link. And in the factory masterpiece. Factory. I call him twin, could that be my brother? We got the same roller, he matching me. Nah, for real. Water on me, like the sun of song. Carrot, song, pointers. All these commas, I won't fun from me. Go gunners out the junk. We buy it all, fuck a front. And so we are attempting to file these taxes. My mama was like, where's your deductions and the stuff that you're gonna itemize? And I was like, girl, I might need to file for an extension because I don't have none of that stuff readily available. Like, why is there a deadline to file your taxes? I just don't get it. I don't understand why there's a, de a deadline for that. Like, they always wanna find some kind of way to penalize you, no matter what. But anywho, regarding the to-do list, I think we had six things on the list. We got four of them done. We're working on number five. It's 1030. Um, I am taking my time doing these taxes. Luckily, two of my W-2s can do like an automatic transfer. But even if it doesn't, I can just like type the information or snap a, a picture from my phone. So that's what we're doing. Just hoping and praying that I don't have to pay back. So I'm about to get this done, y'all. We cooked. We cooked the tacos and everything like that. So really everything else that we have to do for tonight involves the computer and we're getting that done. So I'll check in with y'all periodically. I really, really need to focus on getting these taxes done because tomorrow's the last day. Update. Babe, I had to quit because the amount of money Turbo Tax just told me I got to pay back. I had to exit the website. No, ma'am. No, sir. No way. <laughs> it's no way possible. I had to do something wrong. So, what we're going to do, we have a plan. We're going to reach out to a tax professional in the morning. In between all of the meetings that I have tomorrow, I got to reach out to a tax professional. And I have to see if I can file for an extension. That's the only logical answer for me right now. Because owing that much money back, that don't even make sense to me. Like, I need answers. Girl, this cannot be life. So, we're, we stopped the taxes, okay? So we can go ahead and add that to tomorrow's to-do list. So right now I am about to submit a report, which is number six on our list today. So we pretty much got through everything. I'm gonna juice up my hair and my edges and everything in the morning. I just, I don't have time to do that tonight. These taxes have really just threw me for a loop. So the plan is to request an extension and then see you know, what deductions and things that I have to itemize. <sighs> Got a lot of stuff that needs to be added. And I just, I don't know. I feel like I'm the type of person who tries to do everything herself. Like, I believe I can do anything. But those taxes, I'm going to have to leave that to the professionals. Because I ain't doing something right. I can't be doing something right. Last year, I tried to do it myself. I effed it up and I had to send it off to somebody. Look, I'm okay even if I break even, babe. I just don't want to have to pay no couple thousand dollars. Back to the IRS. Like, let's be serious. There's no way possible that that's true. I just refuse to believe it, babe. I refuse to believe it. The only thing I want to believe right now at this moment in time is that I did something wrong. That's the only logical answer here. Like I have been pumped going on a week straight last week if you watch last week's vlog then you know the lights was off for almost two days felt like that that should have been a prank but it was not this week we're dealing with tax BS okay the oh my god I can't even get my bearings to get I can't even think straight right now to tell y'all what's going on so <clears throat> in a nutshell 
the stuff that I did by myself independently was in fact true. Y'all know yesterday I was like, oh my gosh, this can't be true. Like, I must be doing something wrong. Like, I probably didn't enter something right. I didn't do enough deductions. Property taxes for our properties. All of that. Everything I, everything I did was correct. I, in fact, do owe the amount that popped up on the website last night. Fucking mad, y'all just don't understand. Like my salary did not increase a lot between 2022 and 2023. It increased. I got a raise, but it was no significant freaking raise, y'all. The thing is, this new bill that Trump put in effect when he was president is starting to take. Well, it started to take effect last year, which was 2023. And it, it kind of shifted the tax brackets, I think. Um, I'm just, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm just completely, I'm just discombobulated right now, to be honest. Like, let's be serious, IRS. I don't want to pay y'all because now y'all cutting into my trip money. Okay, and I don't play about my trips. I can't believe this. I ain't been on social media all day. Like I kind of been taking a little break or whatever, cause I've been waiting on the, on this freaking news, and I just was hoping and praying for some better news. But baby, I ain't getting no better news. It's the same news that I had yesterday. Okay. <laughs> I just I've been laughing and just sitting here with my mouth wide open ever since I heard the news. Um. So yeah, it is true. You do get punished for not having kids. You get punished for making a lot of money. You get punished for everything, okay? I am pissed. Let's be serious, America. This got me want to move to Dubai or something. I need to move to another country because I don't like this. My hard earned money has to be returned. I could see if I was like a contract worker, I ain't getting no taxes taken out. That's not the case. I get taxes taken out. I get taxed. <clears throat> anyway, I just wanted to come back on here and let y'all know that I'm not crazy. Everything that I did yesterday was correct. Hired a tax professional today who confirmed that I indeed do owe money. So yeah, I guess we're gonna end the weekend vlog here. I don't even know if I'm gonna vlog this week. I ain't got nothing special going on. I just really probably need to take this week off to reset mentally, emotionally. <laughs> and after I pay these, I need to reset financially because some shit got to shake. I don't understand. IRS, call me. Cause me and you got some things to talk about. We got some things to discuss. I didn't even lost my appetite. I don't even want to eat nothing tonight. The food can say goodbye to me. <laughs> All right, enough of me BSing, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, for watching my channel. I hope that you guys have enjoyed everything. I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. But if you have watched this far, I made it all the way to the end. Make sure that you have liked the video and left a comment. If you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and share this video with the friends. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye.